Um, I'm Greg Garrett. I'm with Prosperity4RI.com, among other things. Um, I was listening to the first speaker and talking about how we need to not be building any kind of fossil fuel stuff that takes us beyond 20 years if we're going to make it. And, you know, then you're talking about the dark money and all the other things. And so I have two points. I think that one of the most important things that's not talked about right now and actually gives us more hope than some of the other things up here is the resistance. I think when thousands of people sign, line up in front of pipelines, that that's a real symbol for us and that resistance is probably what's going to have a more effect than, than a carbon tax. You know, people are saying no more fossil fuel pipelines, no more power plants, no more compressor stations, and they put their bodies out there. So I think that, that I would like the science journalists to spend more time thinking about that. And then I want us to think about how the dark money plays out in a place like Rhode Island where, you know, you can talk about climate change, but you can't actually stop anything. The politicians are all still saying, even though we know that if we build this, we can't ever meet our carbon goals, we still want to build a power plant. And I want to know, what are we going to do to actually get this so that on the ground, here in our own communities, that this, you know, that this power of the fossil fuel industry gets stopped? Thank you.